for me, I feel like I'm such a type A um, person where I'm very like strict on myself and I do like X, Y, Z in this time. Um, but allowing myself to like, yes, that's good, but you also need this other side of being flexible and being okay with doing nothing sometimes, which I know you talk about too, of Um, And also rest looks different for everybody. So finding out what that means. Um, But all in all, it's like having this extreme personality of wanting to be productive, but this other side of like, but loving life and enjoying what's in front of me. Um, Yeah. So I think balance is being able to accept both sides. And also, I think what's also helpful is talking to people who are different from me and seeing how they live their lives. Like my husband is the complete opposite of me. (laughs) He's very (laughs) present, like doesn't really worry about the future, like just goes with the flow. And so seeing how he lives his life and he seems to be so at peace that I'm like, huh, I wonder (laughs) what it'd be like if I was like that. I think as someone who's used to being so productive, it's it's like an interesting experience to see someone not try to be productive, but still be like happy and at peace, right? Like it's possible. Like you don't need to be like pushing yourself so hard. It's possible to just uh, like chill sometimes. Um, but, but we're all wired differently. And I think it's for a reason. So it's fine. <laughs> yeah, totally, right? totally. I think everyone's like-, <laughs> like, we're all trying to meet in the middle somewhere like and reach that point of balance. Exactly. Yeah. And I, mm-hmm. to be honest, like, I don't know what that looks like yet because I feel like I'm still on this other side. But, um, I was talking to my therapist about rest and like what that looks like. And because for me, I would feel like I never truly feel rested mentally <laughs> or emotionally. Um, and then she mentioned, you know, there's a difference between active rest and passive rest. So passive rest could, could be like, sitting on the couch doing nothing or like looking at the sky or watching TV. Like that's more passive. It doesn't take a lot of like um, cognitive behavior from us. But um, some act, uh, active rest could be, you know, like yoga or stretching or like hanging out with friends. Like that does take energy, but you're not working. You know, you're just having fun and hanging out with people. So that could be like active rest too. So finding the balance between both, like don't just sit on the couch all day long, um, but also don't just go out all the time and then you're just exhausted. (laughs) 